We are recording. Can you hear me now? Yeah, and we're recording. Awesome. Awesome. Hi, guys. Um, first and foremost, please excuse me if we have any technical difficulties tonight. I'm out at the farm in Verdon and in between trees and everything else. So hopefully I don't become a robot on you guys too much in this call. But thank you for joining us tonight. Um, I'm really excited about this call because it's a new month. We have new bonuses that are out. Um, we have a new mindset and I always love a new month because it's like a fresh start. Um, you can put everything behind you, start over, start fresh. Um, so I think it's a really good day to really talk about how you're going to be successful this month. Um, and the things you should be doing to do that, whether you're working your business in social media or whether you're doing it um, more belly to belly and in person, whatever you're doing to grow your business, um, these are all kind of tips that are going to help you achieve that. Um, and if you guys have any questions, you can type them in the chat. There's also an option to raise your hand. You can do that and I'll help answer any of your questions throughout the call. Um, and hopefully I cover anything, but don't be afraid to ask any questions at the end if you guys do have any questions. Um, okay, so how are you going to be successful this month? What are the things that you need to be doing? So first off, first of the month is a great time to start looking at your goals for the month. What do you want to do this month? Um, every month your, your goal should at least be the steps to success, four loyal customers, three distributors. Um, but what other goals are you looking to do? Do you want to sign more distributors? Do you want to sign more customers? Do you want to go to the gym more? Do you want to work on yourself more? Um, do you want to eat more healthy? Do you want to try something new? Whatever it is, if you don't make a goal and a plan to get there, you're never going to get anywhere. You're going to sit stagnant. You're not going to do much because you don't have anything to work towards. Um, so what are, you, what are your goals for this month? Um, there was just a woman who signed 21 distributors last month um, and was getting herself the diamond bonus. That's crazy. She signed 21 distributors in one month. Um, and you guys can do that too if that's something that you want. It's very possible, but it's all about um, setting those goals and making that game plan and being committed to get to them. So I think goal setting is very, very important. Um, not only do I do it weekly, but it's really important to do it monthly and yearly and all that type of thing as well. So sit down tonight and think about your goals. What are your goals for the month? Um, like I said, steps to success obviously, sh obviously should be one of them. That's our goal every single month. But write down those goals and then we can figure out what you need to do on a weekly or a daily basis to be able to achieve those things. Um, so if you want to, for example, sign three distributors this month, well, you probably want to sign at least one distributor a week. And if you want to sign one distributor a week, you need to talk to about 10 people a week about the business. So if you're doing talking to 10 people a day, you could say you talk to or 10 people a week. Um, you could round up and say you talk to two new people a day about the business. And do you see how much easier that becomes? So instead of being like, holy crap, I've designed three distributors. Now you're only like, oh, I only have to talk to two new people a day about um, changing their lives. I think that makes things a lot more easier and a lot less um, overpowering and scary. So goal setting, very, very important. That's the first thing you should be doing if you want to be successful. You need to make a plan to get there. Um, okay, so on top of goal setting, you want to stay connected, and I can't preach this enough, and I think um, pretty much everyone on this call can vouch that staying connected is very, very important, whether it's with your upline or your sidelines or the team page or corporate calls. It's just very important to stay connected. So every week there is um, our team call, which is tonight, Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Central. They're always a great call to get on because you're going to probably learn something new every single time. We go over all sorts of things and it helps you um, learn how to grow your business every week. Plus it's getting you in front of your, your uplines or sponsors or sidelines that all are going to have different tips and tricks for you. Um, so that being said, staying in, in contact with your upline or sponsor or um, different, um, oh geez, upline is really important. Um, I think it's, I think it can be very beneficial when you have almost like an accountability partner. So um, 
it's nice to be able to check in with people and be like, hey, so this is what I'm doing to reach my goal this month. And you get, not only do you get recognition, which is really nice because you work for yourself, you have to give yourself your own recognition, but your upline or sponsor is going to give you lots of support, um, be there for when you're down, for your ups and downs, help you through anything that you're struggling with and be able to give you some tips that might be able to help you. So staying connected with your upline is super, super important. Um, and staying connected to any kind of corporate event. So corporate has two weekly calls. One is on Sunday night. It's our family night call. It's only about 15 minutes and they go usually do some kind of announcement every Sunday night. You're going to hear if there's any bonuses announced or maybe a new product or maybe they're doing BOGO or maybe they're pumping you up for the cruise or just to hear like our CEO's voice and our um, other two corporate team leaders and just hear their excitement and know that that dream is real and stay connected with our, with the people who are allowing this to all come true for us. Um, and then the Monday night call, that's with Pam Souter, um, our little blitzing queen. And she does the show me the money call every Monday. So normally she has one of the top leaders in the company come on and get tips and tricks or people tell their stories. Um, and I always find them super inspiring because sometimes you hear these stories of these people that are just like you and what were, they were able to do and what they were able, able to overcome. And you just sit there and you're like, yeah, I can do that too. Um, and I think it's just really cool to hear other people's successes. It really just helps your belief and um, your love for the company and what you're doing. Um, and then there's lots of different things like one team, one missions that lots of leaders put on around the country or around the world, really everywhere that we're open. So pretty much anywhere in the world that we're open, you can go to a one team, one mission. And basically they go over the party pad. It's a really great thing for you to bring um, potential distributors to things like that, just so, to have somebody else go over the party pad um, and teach you new things too, which is really cool. Um, and then of course, like our main corporate events, like there's going to be our one conference in February next year. That's probably going to be somewhere in Florida, which I'm really, really excited for. Um, they do what's called the air green carpet, usually in the middle of the year, July. And it's like a mini conference. And you guys, these, these events are like no other. They are full of energy and excitement and they do announcements and you learn so much and you get to meet other sidelines and uplines or people that you really look up to in this business. And it, it's just amazing. I can't explain to you what you will feel from an event like this until you get there. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so those are like all the corporate things that you really want to look for and maybe start looking at jumping on those calls or coming to those corporate events when you can, because they really can be life changing and business changing. Um, and just staying connected. If you find another leader that you really like, that you kind of connect with or see eye to eye with, um, don't be afraid to look into their training and what they have to offer. A lot of leaders make their training super public, whether it's on Periscope or Facebook or it's on YouTube, um, things like that. Their training and help is all over the place. So if you find somebody that you really like and connect with and like the way they do business, don't be afraid to look into their training and, and share it with the teams. I bet you somebody... Um, is out there that's like you that wants to see it as well. Um, so yes, number one, goal setting. Number two, staying and being connected is also very, very important to being successful in your business. Number three, and I can't stress, stress this one enough because it's so, so important. Um, and Michael, I might get you to touch on this for a second because I know it's really changed your business this last month is consistency. Um, you want to stay consistent no matter what you're doing. So whether you're out there blitzing and that's your way of meeting new people, you need to be out there blitzing every single day. If you're out there and you are posting on Facebook or Instagram and that's the way you're growing your business, you need to be posting and talking to people every single day. Um, it's really, consistency is number one. I can tell you the moment I stopped talking to people for, day, for a day, the moment I stopped messaging people for a day or posting for a day, my, my business falls because I get lazy, things get pushed to the side, stuff happens, um, and it can be the hardest part, getting yourself into a routine. As soon as you get yourself into a routine, it's easy, sneaky. But staying consistent, 
throughout the entire month, through those ups and downs, throughout your business is really going to help you. And I can almost guarantee that's one of the only differences between you and any one of the top leaders is that they are consistent with their business every single day. They are talking to people every single day. So if you're not talking to somebody new every single day, you need to be out there doing that. So things like posting, like I said, talking or messaging to new people every day, introducing what we have to offer to new people every day. Um, anything that's going to be income producing. So there's lots of documents on the team page too. If you don't, if you need different ideas for income producing activities, you can find that on there under the files folder. Um, but anything that's going to make you money, you want to be doing on a consistent basis as well as working on yourself. Um, I always say we're like in a, we're in a university, we're in millionaires university. And it's just like, it's just like when you're going to school, you need to study to be able to grow and learn and do new things. It's the same thing with this. You need to be working on yourself every day. So whether that's um, reading some kind of book or watching some um, documentary like Tony Robbins or things like that, any way that you can stay connected, um, and work on yourself is always, always, always going to help your business. If you watch any other top leader, they are reading some kind of personal development book. They are watching some kind of documentary. They are doing something to help them grow, not only as a person, but within their business as well. And I think that's very, very important. So obviously with consistency comes working your business. So that means every day, like I said, you guys, messaging people, talking to people, blitzing, following up. Um, you need to be working your business every single day. If you went and opened up, let's say a clothing store and you were trying to launch it and do something with it, you would work that business every single day. You would tell everyone about it. You would try to do anything to get people in the store. And this is no different except that we don't have a storefront. Your storefront is you. Um, so just think of it that way, you guys, if your mouth isn't open, your business is closed. And I think that's just a straightforward way to look at it. If you're not talking to new people every single day, your business is closed. And anybody can work this business, you guys, whether you have an hour a day to put into it or whether you have eight hours a day to put it into it. If you can only work this business one hour a day, you can do it all in one stint. You can do like four little 15 minute increments where you go blitzing or you miss it, message somebody or you send out some follow up messages, something like that. Everybody can work this business at least for an hour a day, no matter what you're doing. Um, so also think about that when you're talking to people, cause I know a common, sorry guys, a common thing that we get told is that, oh, I don't have time. Well, everybody has an hour a day, whether it's when they're sitting on their break, scrolling through Facebook, why not make some money while you're doing that? Um, so that's usually two 15 minutes breaks right there. 15 minutes before you go, after you get off work, 15 minutes before you go to bed. It's something super easy that everybody can work into their daily lives. One hour a day is not a lot. It's something that everyone can do. And I can guarantee you, you can make money with this business working an hour a day. So just make sure you guys are doing that. It's not, it's super easy. It's just a matter of getting yourself into a routine of doing it. I like to sit there before I go to bed and send out messages to anyone who liked or commented on my posts before I go to sleep because then it's really nice. I can wake up in the morning and have messages to answer back and we kind of chat all day. So I like to get those sent before I go to bed. I don't answer anybody until I get up the next morning. Everybody does it. Don't worry. Don't feel like just because you're messaging somebody that you have to talk to them right that second. Um, so message everybody and then go back. And so if here's a little tip for you guys. If you are spending, like, let's say you're doing a power hour, sending out messages, start off, send out all the messages you have, and then go back and answer people that have answered you. Cause it's so easy to get caught up in the answering of people that you don't end up finishing the work that you wanted to do. So make sure that you get the messages out that you needed to get out or the phone calls out that you needed to get out and then start messaging back everybody that got back to you. That's my little tip for you. Um, and I did kind of talk to this about you guys with you guys already, but just training and learning and growing yourself is so, so important. So whether it's jumping on these, these training calls, whether it's looking up your own uh, training from different leaders, or like I said, listening to an audio book or 
um, a, a documentary or reading some kind of personal development book, anything like that is going to help you learn and grow in your business. I think it's very important. Nobody comes into this business knowing exactly what to do and how to do it and what to say and what we have and every ingredient. Um, I sure as heck didn't. I still don't know every ingredient and every product. If you ask me what the ingredients are in Confianza, I'll just tell you, I don't know. It works. And same with the wraps. I don't know, but it works. Um, there's, I'm not a scientist, nor am I ever going to pretend to be one. So just don't feel like you need to know everything. You just need to grow yourself, learn new things, stay connected and ask those questions. The team page is also a great spot for that. Um, but yeah, I think those things are very important. So quick recap. I'm doing pretty good on time. I'm pretty impressed with myself right now. Okay, so you want to write down your goals. Um, be specific. So break them down into monthly, weekly, daily goals. Also do like your year goals and you can start working back from there. Goal setting though, very important. Staying connected. So like on the team page and corporate stuff, things like that. And your upline, stay connected create consistent consistency in your business, create a routine, don't stop. Consistency is key. And with that being work your business every day, you need to open your mouth to new people every day or your business is closed. Um, and training and learning and growing yourself. Those are my five main keys for you guys. I can't break it down any simpler for you. Um, any kind of training, any kind of way to work your business has been laid out for you, whether it's on social media, we have scripts, we have, oh my God, the bugs, we have scripts, we have posts, we have training, we have everything you need to know. Same with blitzing, same with doing home parties, anything like that. We have everything that you need to be able to grow your business that way. So just tell us what you're looking for. And we can also help you find it too on the team page. Um, so yeah, with that being said, um, Michael, I kind of want to showcase you for a minute because this last month, I'm so proud of you. You have done amazing things. You have come back fully committed. So um, I just kind of wanted to ask you what kind of things you do consistently, consistently for your business, like every day or every week. Basically, all I've been doing in the last month was just talking and, and I started off acting excited about what I was doing, like just you know, faking it. Uh, Cause I, I wasn't, I started off, well, I, I was, but I wasn't. And then I started getting more excited about the business and about, you know, sharing the product and helping people. And I think that that st sort of showed on, I guess from me and it, it helped me get into in front of more people. So yeah, that's, that's what I was doing. I was just talking more, blitzing more, showing off. Yeah. The cards, so one thing that sticks with me every time that we talk about this is the fact that you say you were excited about helping people. Mm -hmm. And I think that was very important. You were, go you were talking to people in a fact that you're excited to help them. It yeah. wasn't to benefit you. It wasn't in any way like that. You were there to help them. And I think that shows a lot when you can show that you generally care and want to help somebody, you guys, that's the biggest part of this business. You get to help change people's lives, whether it's help them feel better in their own skin or make them more healthy or give them some more energy or help them make that extra aching for whatever you're doing, you get to change and help so many lives. And I think it's just so important that you changed your mindset and it wasn't so much about you anymore as it was about helping other people. It, it wasn't about me before, to be honest, it was about making money. Right. So every time, a I would get in front of somebody, you know, before last month and I would get rejected. I was getting rejected in my mind financially. And it, it just, it, it drove me down. So I, I changed my mindset to not about making money, but to about helping people like you just said. And I don't know, it, it started making me feel better about what I was doing. You know, I, the money follows. I mean, we're in business to make money. There's no doubt of that, but the mindset to get there is it can't be focused on the money. Your goals can be on the money, but you can't be focused on the money. You need to be focused on what you're doing to get it. Yes. What are, yeah. That's the best way to put it. I think. Yeah. How many people do you get to help this month? You get to help at least three people make some extra money. Yeah. And you get to help at least four people 
feel better about themselves or feel more healthy or have more energy, whatever it is. Yeah. And that's, that's right. my goal is, is to do that. And I'm, I'm really trying to help the distributor I just signed because I can see her getting a bonus, especially now that they're back again, right. Or still, still here. I want her to get the bonus. I mean, she's got potential to make a couple grand just from this month. And you know, again, there's the money part of it, but she's, she's ready to go. So. And that's a, so do you mind quickly sharing like um, what she's been doing that makes you feel like she's really going to do good at this? Well, so I got in front of her right at work and basically showed her my blitz card that I hang around my neck on my lanyard. And she fell, I guess, in love with the, the aspect or the thought of, of wrapping. Right. So every time that I would go say, get water in the, in the lunchroom and if she was in there, if there was anybody in there, she'd like grab my lanyard and sort of pull me or, or she would point at it or whatever and say, you ever heard of these wraps before? These things are awesome. You, you know, I can see you getting a wrap type thing. And she's got I, I probably a good 10 to 15 leads already. And she hasn't even gotten her distributor kit. So, I mean, she, she so does not mind. She's got no fear of talking to people about anything. Right. So, I think she's going to blow she's up. She's just excited. She's like, you guys have to try this thing. Like, it's awesome. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah. And she hasn't even tried it yet herself. That's the funny thing. She's exactly. Just, she's just pumped. She's excited over the idea of it. Right. So she's sharing that and she's, she's talking. She's ready for business. And I love that what you just said too. She's just excited about it. The, the idea of it. Yeah. So you guys, again, you don't need to have tried every product to do this business. You don't need to, um, to have to get your kid in before you try to wrap so that you could talk about it. Be excited about the idea of it and what it can do for people. And that's really all you need at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, you know, I 100% agree with that. The funny thing about uh, this Mila lady is I'm learning a lot from her. And she's, she's, like I said, she hasn't even got her distributor kit yet. And I've just been soaking in what I can learn from her. So it's. That's it's, the cool thing about building a team though, because you're going to meet so many different people and people that do things so differently or have something else to offer. Not only do us as like sponsors and leaders get to help and grow other people, but we get so much out of you guys too. Like Michael, for example, your like your determination and your um, like, I don't want to say inability isn't the right word, but you don't quit like you're super strong willed like something like that i aspire to be like i'm like michael's not quitting why would i ever think about quitting even on those down days do you know what i mean and like that just is very motivating too so we learn something from you guys just as much as you learn from us too and i can't quit no i just can't i've tried <laughs> every time i think you about it it pulls me back no, uh, you know what? I've I've tried I've been put a few times, and I just I I just can't do it. There's something about it, and, you know. No matter how hard I make things out to be for myself, there's just something there that keeps me there. So I love it. I love it. I love it. So thank you, Michael. I appreciate you sharing everything with us. Does anybody have any questions or anything else they would like to share? Yeah, Michael's going like this. I'm waiting too, ladies. <laughs> These bugs are crazy. Oh, you guys are quiet bunch tonight. Did this help you guys at all? Oh, totally. And you know what? Michael said, change your mindset. That's key like you need if you're feeling no don't worry honey if you're feeling in a slump if you're feeling almost like a pity me party you just need to change your mindset guys stop going stop thinking you can't do this and start believing that you will do this it's all about your mindset and your word choice and that subconscious mind 
Um, I, we could talk about this for hours and doing like your IMs and um, things like that. But your mindset is huge. What you're thinking is what you're believing and what you're becoming and doing. So if you wake up in the morning feeling bad and grumpy and like you don't want to get out of bed and you don't want to do anything, well, guess what? That's what your brain is just going to keep thinking. But if you wake up in the morning and you're excited for the day, and you're telling yourself that you're amazing and beautiful and you can do this, well, guess what? You're going to do it. Very some... Go ahead. Who? You. Well, oh, I just said that's very important. Yeah, you ladies are going to do it. You guys are... It's a new month, baby. It's a new month. Clean slate. Let's go. I'm excited for this month. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. See, mindset, right? There, there's a part of me that doesn't know that I could hit a diamond level. But if I talk my ass off to people, I don't see why I can't. And I see that five grand, and I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of excited for that. So You can do it. You, know. you, really, I, you guys, I went from ruby to diamond in one month. Um, there's like, it's very possible to go from distributor to diamond from, um, di um, holy executive to diamond. That took me a second. Um, or emerald to diamond, whatever it is, if you put your mind to it and you dedicate yourself to it, you can do it. We just need to make you a plan to get there and you need to stay consistent. Um, and work your daily business every single day. If you're going for a diamond bonus this month, there are no days off. You do not get to take a day off from your dreams and your goals. If this is something that you want, if $5,000 can really help you, then let's go, baby. Well, still, my, fir my first goal is to get steps of success. I so want that so bad. Number one goal. Yeah. I need to do that. Like, it's so imperative. So for diamond, you guys, if this diamond bonus is something you're, you're contemplating, first of all, stop contemplating and just declare it. You're going to go for it. So let's say you're a distributor and you're going for diamond and let's say you still fall short. Maybe only you only reach Ruby or Emerald. Well, guess freaking what? You still hit Ruby or Emerald. You can still be making five to $1,200 a month um, just by working your butt off this month. So just if it's something that you're contemplating, if it's something that excites you, go for it. Yes? I don't, I don't know what that means. Like, like, like the car one or? No. Yeah, the metal one. Like this one? Yeah. Okay. And then the plug out of the console right there. This one? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry. <laughs> She's pointing. I'm like, what do you need? <laughs> um, so yeah, that being said, you only need 25 distributors in a diamond chart so push yourself to sign 25 distributors this month um but you're going to be helping your new team members do the exact same thing and you're going to teach them to do exactly what you're doing to sign all these people and they're going to do the same thing um so it just grows tenfold tenfold but give yourself a goal of 25 distributors this month so how many weeks are this month does it, Michael, do you have a calendar handy by any chance? Well, if you count this week, because we're already in September, then technically there's five. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's just say there's four, and we'll call these freebie days. Yeah. So 25 divided by four is six distributors a week. So that means you need to talk to... 60 people a week Ugh. and let's say break that into days what's 60 divided by seven well it's like one 60 divided by seven yeah oh, hang on i'm not braining that i'm going to calculate that yeah it's under 10. i refuse to brain that eight <laughs> what's that eight point five okay so i'm gonna say nine Let's do five. All you need to do is talk to nine new people a day about the business, whether that's you going out blitzing and talking to people. Maybe you do a party and you get to introduce the, per the business to 10 people at a party. 
maybe you um, do some posting, maybe you add some new people and they're starting to show love on your posts. Things like it's super easy. You can find nine new people a day, whether you're going up blitzing, whether you are doing it on social media or doing parties, you can make it happen. Does that sound doable to people? Ten, like nine people a day about the business? I think so. I think so too. So with that being said, okay, one last tip of the night for you guys. We are in network marketing. Our job is to network and grow our network. If you're not growing your network every single day, your business is not growing. It's going to become stagnant. You're not going to be able to introduce the products to new people. Adding new people on Facebook or Instagram every day. You should people every day. Yes. <laughs> Was I laggy? Well, you were, but it sort of caught up to you, then you went a little fast, and then you normaled out. So. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, hopefully but it all makes sense. It did. You, I, I heard everything. It was just a little, a little robotic. Okay, good. Okay, so we're almost at 20 after, or 20 to 10. Was there any other questions or anything else anybody wanted to say? If you want that diamond bonus, if it's even something you're contemplating, message me right now, and we will start making a game plan to help you get that. Um, I I'm going to be doing some contests this month um, and some special mentorships this month. So the diamond bonus is some, no problem, Kristen. Look, these bugs. <laughs> Fly to my eyeballs. No, no other questions. I don't. Okay, guys. Well, I will end it here. First of all, thank you so, so much for jumping on tonight. I know a lot of us have kids and other things going on, so I really appreciate you taking the time out tonight to join us and take time to grow your business and commit to your business and commit to yourself at the end of the day. Um, and remember, we are always here to help you, whether you're down or you're up or you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out to us. And thank you, Michael, for jumping in and sharing some of your wisdom and what you've been up to. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. Thank you. Good night, guys. Good night. I'm hitting the stop record here. Okay. Thank you.